I, I, I'm looking at this framed picture that your sister, your sister clearly drew this. Yeah. Um, it says, I love my family. And one of us is missing. Yeah. Is yeah. it your dad or Dalton? I don't even, I think it's either me or Dalton. I forget which one she forgot. <laughs> 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 What's going on, guys? Welcome to, uh, welcome to a new Let's Play. The sound quality should be fantastic for this, but it might not be. Oh, I, well, I heard the test runs, and they sound amazing. And your little setup right there is just making me laugh. I, I love it. Oh, my God. I love I love my setup. Mine is just, what would you call it, suburban boom mic? Suburban boom mic. It's a step up from ghetto boom mic. It's a very big but, step up. But it's a step down from modern boom mic, so we're calling it suburban boom mic. Yours is just oh my mine's like a high, high horse high horse, high horse boom rich mic. asshole boom mic basically there's there's no difference in sound quality it's just how it looks <laughs> mine's get a boom mic stand I mean, with like I, the little one I, and gets like this big fucking microphone with a pop filter oh yeah and the it's stand right is actually set face. up correctly oh man well let's do it come on this so is going to be a pilot episode of sorts we are definitely testing out a lot of shit here not only are we testing out the ability to capture PlayStation 3 we're testing out the ability to uh, use these microphones of course and we're testing out a new game technically that's not something I really need to test I've done this well, this is gonna be 40 times now actually it's like 39 I think this is gonna be the 39th let's play which is a lot <coughs> let's do it thank you for it and that's going to be in crystal clear belchulance pop Belt. Shut the fuck up. I, I pop filtered that belch. Probably. So, um, yeah. Let's just start the shit. Here's the deal, guys. If this fails, we are going to be recording a different game. If this works, we are going to be recording this game. So it's sort of like a 50-50 crapshoot. Here we go. Honestly, I'm very confident about this. Sorry, I keep burping. I ate hot dogs before I got here. You also destroyed my toilet. I did destroy your toilet. I'm Thanks sorry. All right. I felt so bad because I was just walking around your house looking for the plunger. Yeah, that was pretty great. Then you actually had to come get me. Yeah. I was downstairs setting all this shit up. This took a while to set up, didn't it? All right. Um, then we're going to need to turn it on the game side. So, because, like, the microphone, yeah. especially mine. All right. So you can sort of get a little bit of a spoiler here. We'll probably block out the screen if this works perfectly. I'll probably block out the screen so you guys can't see it. Anyway, Ango, turn down the sound on the TV. Okay. All right, you're in front of Mr. High Horse Boom Mike. I have no idea how it sounds. It's the very top. It's the very top one. Very top button. Very top button. And go down one. Oh my God, that's so loud. Yeah, turn that way down. That's going to like destroy us. Go to like eight. 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 It'll still play fine at eight. No big want... deal. All right, guys. Well, it's time to begin. Guys. Nothing. Yeah, so you know it's a Tales Gamut now, but let's just say this. I'm probably going to have to uh, pay a lot more attention now, so there might be a little bit more of that, but that that's actually for the better, honestly, especially for Anne. But it's time to be... Oh, right. You know what I just realized? This is going to have to install. <laughs> this is Installing going to have to install. trophy set. What? And this is going to have to install. All PlayStation 3 games have to install. Oh my god. Maybe we should cut this out. Either that, alright. Here's what we'll do. If we have fantastic dialogue, this will be perfect. So, and how was your day? I don't know. I didn't really do much today. Like, I just sat around my house, texted my girlfriend, sat around my house some more, made some French toast. That was pretty good. I had a pretty ridiculous day, to be perfectly honest. I'll like, I'm pretty, pretty hectic. So, first thing I do, I wake up, and then Dalton comes home, which was pretty cool. He come home for, like, a little bit. You missed him, unfortunately. I thought that... Aww, I do miss Dalton. Dalton. Dalton was pretty fun to play around with all day. No pun intended. Or, no, whatever the hell you want to throw in there. Uh, so, basically, I was running around with Dalton all day uh, for a little bit, and then we had to take our dog to go get a bath. Wait, you She's, have to take her somewhere? Yeah, we had to take her somewhere. See, the problem with our dog is that the last time that we had someone else do it they like choked her or something it was kind of unfortunate so how did they choke really... your dog i don't even know she's old and she's getting in her ways so she probably was just not cooperating so now we take her to our own uh friendly vet which we basically bathe her ourselves that was fun in all the of uh, for no one like it, it was a pain in the ass really like she doesn't like it we don't like to do it it's just not fun so we went and did that 
Then me and Dalton uh, came back home, and then we went on a little bit of a trip. What kind of trip? Well, the kind of trip where I did a lot of firsts. One of the very first things I did was I got my. I went through the first car wash I've ever done. For Wait, my car. like, were you sitting in the car? No, 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 no. I mean, like, this is the first time I've ever taken my car through the car wash since I've gotten it. Wait, uh, Medford China Lube? Uh, I think so. Okay. Like, not the, not the one near the Acme, the one near the, uh, bowling alley. Oh, all right, then, then it's not the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's a different one. So basically, we ran through that, uh, washed the car. That was the first time I've ever gotten my car washed. That was kind of hilarious. Because there was a lot of dog hair in the back. My car is the only <laughs> car where my, where my dog can actually get into the car. And she's so old now. So that was fun. After that, we basically drove around again. And we went to... Uh, uh, we went to Best Buy. Because we wanted to pick up this box right here. Which we needed. As I've explained before, Ann got me this sick-ass mic for my birthday. Was it, was it birthday or was it Christmas? It was Christmas. Was it Christmas? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. It was, it was your birthday. It was my birthday. It was right? your birthday. Yeah, I because got... I got you like the Epic 3DS. Which was pretty it was sweet. a 2DS. 2DS, whatever. Same so thing. it's kind of not epic, but it's still a DS. So basically, uh, we went around to buy this box. First, we tried at Best Buy. Completely didn't work because apparently Best Buy has decided to become a bargain, like a really nice looking Radio Shack all of a sudden because it no longer sells any musical equipment at all. Really? Wait, but it sells music. But it, it does. But like, it doesn't sell the cables or any of the boxes that it used to have. It doesn't sell any of that shit anymore. It basically got rid of its entire music department. I'm not sure why. So, then we had to go over to Cherry Hill to go to the Sam Ash. Uh, that was a nice, nice fun trip. We also dropped by uh, Chick-fil-A. Why would you go sweet. to Chick-fil-A? Because it has some sweet food. You know they're anti-homosexual. You, you said the exact same thing my brother said. I, I feel kind of bad about that, but at the same time, I feel like it's not the fault of... The people who work there. No, it, they, no, it's the it's owner. It's the corporation. Like, the, the corporation owners. And that's their choice, whatever. What the fuck ever. I'm sure they still hire gay people, even. <laughs> so, basically, we ate there. That was pretty cool. That was just a little side note. I just wanted to see if you'd comment that, because I knew my brother did <laughs> immediately. I'm like, yep, he's going to comment that. Yeah, obviously. Then we went to Sam Ash, which is a pretty sweet uh, little somewhat retail music store. Checked around there for a bit and finally got Mr. Box. And we came home, had tacos, and I called Anna over. I also did some religion homework, which is like the first work I've done all spring I, break. I still have no idea why you took a religion class. It's it's a very fun class. I actually really like it. I'm learning all sorts of cool things. Like one of the coolest things I've learned so far is uh, the the Quran, like the Islamic holy book. The cool thing about it is that apparently. A, a large number of people who read the Quran don't actually read read the Quran. Like, that's a very large thing. Like, they know how to say what's in the Quran. They know how to sing the songs in the Quran. But they don't actually know. They can't read it. They can't understand exactly what the text says. They're so, just told what it means. And they can say it, but they can't actually read it. Are they basically just memorizing gibberish? They're memorizing pretty much the words of it. It's not gibberish, but it's like, to them, they understand what it means. And that's a large problem why radicalism exists. Because people can basically take the fact that they can't read it and tell them what the interpretation of it is. Oh, God. So that's actually pretty interesting. That's, well, that's another good reason why religion is just fucked up. In a lot of ways, it can be. Look at me. I'm shouting my opinion on YouTube. Sue me. But then you go look like the Buddhist monks, and you look at the Sheikahs, and like the Sunnis, like, so, or not Sunnis, uh, the, the Sikhs, and you look at the Buddhists, and they're really cool people. They don't generally try to push their religion on people, uh, yeah. and they're just, like, they're very peaceful. And it's not even almost like it's a religion. Like, if you look at Buddhism, it's just about spiritual enlightenment. It's about... It is. I mean, like, one with Tibetan yourself. monks, they're, yeah. like, it's Free rumored Tibet. that they're so, like, they have such high enlightenment that I can... They can actually, like, levitate or something. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that's, not, that's not true, no. I, I mean, there's a science it to it. It sounds like though. a family guy. No, no, no. It's a, there's, like, there's a science to it, but, um... Well, maybe, like, like after somehow... they die and reincarnate and go to Nirvana or whatever shit that is. No, no, no. No, I mean, I like, feel like they, I'm not speaking properly like, for religion like you could Like, you could go there. <laughs> Nirvana? What? You never heard of Nirvana? No, I heard of Nirvana. Nirvana. That's, like, 
the heaven equivalent to Beowulf. I forget what religion or uh, what. That's uh, I. I want to think that's Buddhists that believe in Nirvana. It's basically uh, like spiritual enlightenment once you've re- reincarnated and had the perfect life. You lived life perfectly. That's when you go to Nirvana. And it's never really described. I know, Nirvana, I know exactly. you have to like die an honorable death. Like in the story of Beowulf, you had to um. In Beowulf, like, like they completely throw some of that shit. I know. In well, there. yeah, Beowulf was like brutally fictional, but like. I, I don't even right. know what that is. So there's the there's the monster Grendel, and he's yeah. described to be to resemble a bear of some sorts. And every night he goes and visits this tavern and kills everybody inside of it. Here's the thing: if you are killed inside the tavern by uh, by Grendel, you get to go to Nirvana because supposedly you died an honorable death trying to fight Grendel. But, but what if they were just like in there for like a drink or just to stop by to have a bathroom break or something like that? Maybe I don't know. It's like oh, that's an honorable death to die while you're shitting. Sure. There you go. Good job. Got to know when to go. But um. Got to know when to go. But if you but if you die an un, a dishonorable death, uh, even just by standing outside the tavern, uh, you don't get to go to Nirvana. Something like that. <laughs> what the fuck? Here's here's how um. Remember uh, Mr. <laughs> this is pretty unfair. Remember, what if you don't live anywhere near the tavern? Uh, I mean, no, it doesn't have. If you die a dishonorable death, um, at all. Uh, you just don't go to Nirvana. But, I mean, like, basically an easy way to go into Nirvana is to die inside this tavern. Was that actually a thing? Because I don't remember okay. any of that from reading Beowulf in, like, sixth grade. I don't know. Oh, I probably read the Spark Re- Notes. Remember first, Mr. Nahill? Miss Adam Check threw at me. Do you remember Miss Adam Check? I do. Anyway. But she was Ma- crazy. I'm a sexy meatball. <laughs> I love Miss Adam Check. She was hilarious. No, but remember, um, you, oh, remember hey, Mr. you remember Mr. Nahill, right? Uh, somewhat is what grade was he? Uh, junior year, I think. Junior year, high school? Yeah. I never had Nahill now. Ah. Uh, I had a. Uh... Okay, but here's how he described Nirvana. He said, "Imagine you go into Nirvana. Go ahead and hit OK, by the way. Yeah, go... I, I want to wait because it's probably gonna play a title screen. So go ahead, continue your story. You go, you go into Nirvana and you basically you're just sitting waiting for something to happen. When this thing happens, it's a big badass game of paintball and when you get like you're just playing paintball with all your dead friends and then uh you know when you get shot you're out all right but you know you, you supposedly die in nirvana or whatever you die again but you're just but while you're dead you just wait for the next game of paintball and it's an awesome awesome game of paintball you know it's like <laughs> nitro circus motorcycles and the uh, hang gliders just shooting paintball at each other I am dead serious. This That's is how I this is it. how my junior high school English teacher uh, described Nirvana. You see, I had an existentialist uh, eighth grade or twelfth grade English teacher. He was awesome. I love Mr. Castle. But enough of that. I think it's actually time to uh, let's continue. start this. That, that was a fun talk. That okay. was a fun talk. All Good right. talk. I guess Good we'll talk. keep that one. Yeah. All right, and ready for tales of graces? I'm. I don't even know what to expect. 